I have to talk to you. We were in bed. I know it's early, but this can't wait another minute. It's already gone on 10 years too long. What are you talking about? I've been keeping a huge secret. I'm sorry, Rex. I, um, I lied to you. You're Shane's father. Shane is my son? Wait, how do you even know this is true? Rex knows we were together on the 4th of July and Shane was born on March 25th. I wasn't with anyone else. What about your Navy SEAL? Shane wasn't premature, like I said. Actually, he weighed 10 pounds, 6 ounces. I've got the birth certificate if you want to see it. Your name's on it. Oh my god. I'm a dad. Shane's dad. Are you happy? I love Shane. You saw how I felt about him and you kept this from me? I was afraid. How could you do that? Because Rex, you left me. You didn't even say goodbye. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Well, you've known where Rex is now for months and oh. you still didn't tell him the truth. Uh, I'll sue for custody. No! no and I'll win, too. You, you're, you're, you're a single ex-waitress. I, I have a house and a girl. A rich girl. You can't do this. You can't take Shane away from me. Why shouldn't he? You kept Shane from him all these years. Mom. Mom. No, Shane, run! Mom. Better get up or you're gonna be late for work. Good morning. I was dreaming you came home, and here you are. <laughs> Better get that. It must be Paris at this hour. Bonjour. Bonjour, ma chérie. This better be important. I got another call yesterday from my investigator about Brody Lovett. So, is it true? See the father of Gigi Morasco's son? Hey, good morning. Hey. Good morning. Shane, you like French toast? Thanks. Good. Do you see this? Yes. Todd showed it to me. Uh, before it went to print. So this is what you were so upset about yesterday? Yeah. So the person who disappointed you was Clint? No, Phyllis, I am not in for Jenkins' attorney. And I'm not going to be in anytime soon. I'm assuming you've seen this already? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What, are you worried that people are going to find out where I got the information on Webster and Cop? I trust that you'll keep that a secret. I will. And I don't think uh, anybody would suspect you. I don't think people view us as friends. Well, I don't think that Cobb and Webster are going to do any talking. You would think smart businessmen like that would know better than to hire teenage prostitutes and score illegal drugs when they're away from the wife. Especially if they're going to try a takeover of B.E. What's in that folder? Asa hired Sam to do background checks on anybody he thought might be a potential threat in the future. This is what we've got on Calvin Jenkins. Commissioner, I mean, <laughs> don't worry about it, Officer Marlin. It is good to see you. How's everything going? I don't know. Not after what went down last night with McBain and Vega. Don't forget, you gotta look right at the audience, you know? Look every audience member right in the eye. Engage them, make them listen to you. Huh? You listen to your mom, son. She knows what she's talking about. I... You aren't coming today, right? I wouldn't miss it. I thought you might be too busy. <laughs> Not lately. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah, I already saw that. Clint's gonna be apoplectic. Let me give him a call. No, he's seen it too. He saw it yesterday. I really like this. It reminds me of that card you gave me for my 18th birthday. Do you remember that? Of course I remember that. I framed it. I still have it somewhere. 
think Nash will like these as much as you do? Yes. You know, I know he's hard to read sometimes, but he has taste. And uh, I promise he's gonna love them. Well, just in case, I have others. Oh, good. Who are you calling? Oh, Nash. At this hour? Oh, no, I forgot about the time difference, Sarah. Oh, it's ringing. I'm just gonna leave a message. <clears throat> oh! Hello? Nash? Jessica. Uh, is everything okay? Uh, the baby? Yeah, everything's fine, but was that... That was Sarah, right? Sarah? I, uh, I came out here looking for my phone, and uh, I guess she heard it and thought it was her phone, so she came out when she saw me dressed like this. Like this? I'm not exactly dressed. You're naked? No, I'm not naked. I'm, naked? I'm, I'm in my boxers. It's late. I know. I'm sorry. I forgot about the time difference. I, I, I'll just call you later, okay? It's all right. Are you sure everything's okay? We're fine. I'll call you later. Just go back to bed. What? Yeah, if it's important, it's okay. No, it's not. I love you. You too. Bye. Sorry about that. It's okay. I had dinner with Clint last night. He didn't say anything. Well, I guess he probably got tired of talking about it. So I gave him hell, and Vicky probably did too. Vicky? Yeah, Manning sent a mock-up of the front page over to uh, Vicky so she and Clint wouldn't be blindsided. I guess Manning's trying to be a decent guy these days. Oh, I guess his decency includes kindly informing Clint before he rakes him across the coals. Well, Vicky took it to show Clint so he could stop it before it went to press. Why didn't he stop it? Oh, I get it. Clint's going to slap a libel suit on Todd and shut down the sun, isn't he? <laughs> Uncle Clint. Yeah. You know, I think you're gonna need some more uh, syrup there, bud. More syrup? Yeah. That's not nearly enough. You're trying to get rid of me? He's not as dumb as he looks. Consider me gone. So what's going on? Clint didn't try to stop Manning from printing it, and he didn't tell you about it because it's all true. How long have you been here? I had a 4.30 conference call with uh, Joey and Kevin in London. You couldn't have made that at a more decent hour? That was my idea. I wanted to talk to them before their business day started. There's nothing in here that I can use against Kelvin Jenkins. Well, I know, and I'm sorry, but um, I'm still looking into that. Like what? What do you got? Well, he has uh, quite an extended family, so I figure there must be a scandal or two in there somewhere. I'm not going after his family. Okay. Look. Jenkins and friends are going after your family's company. Look, if Jenkins stepped out of line, I'll use that against him. But I am not going after his family. That's a choice. You know, this file ends when Sam died. I don't want to miss anything. I mean... Later on, Jenkins may have gotten a little less ethical. Yeah, sometimes you got to do that, Big Daddy.